Well, this is all I have left after that main nerf. A cute dog and my SR. <laughs> after years of being made fun of and told that my main sucks, everyone all of a sudden thinks that she's too good. And Blizzard decides to listen for once and nerf her to the ground. <laughs> so this is it. This is how it ends. <laughs> Well, here we are once again. The little Omei main is getting bullied by not only the Overwatch community, but by Blizzard themselves! <laughs> it's like you're getting bullied while you're being homeschooled. Not only is your brother and sister bullying you, but your parents are also bullying you. Like, this whole thing is just a messed up situation. So to catch you guys up to speed, there was an update a long time ago on the experimental mode that housed a lot of changes for heroes. A buff to Genji, a nerf to Reinhardt, but what we're gonna be focusing on is a May nerf because May is the talk of the town. As of recently, everyone's saying that she's broken. Everyone's saying that she's too powerful. Nerf her, nerf her, and even delete her. Oh, 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 the memories that this brings back. But bruh, I've been dealing with this back when she was bad. But now all of a sudden, she's gonna, we're gonna get into that. But the, the main nerf, well, okay. <laughs> it's technically not a main nerf. It's a main rework because it's both a buff and a nerf. So let me be politically correct here. Not going too deep into details because again, this has been experimental mode for for a hot minute now, but basically they reduced her ammo size to 120, where beforehand it cost 20 for a secondary fire and just the normal speed for a primary fire. But the buff here is that now her secondary fire only costs 10 bullets to shoot, where again, previously it was 20. So it's a trade-off, but it's a nerf and here's why. Reducing the clip size from 200 to 120, when you look at it from just the primary forms of fire perspective, that is a 40% reduction. But when you look at it from the secondary form of fire's perspective, that is a 20% increase. And when you continue the quick maths, then you would know that 40 is bigger than 20, making this a more favorable nerf than it is a buff. Even though there would be some people that paint this as like an even trade off, no, it's technically not. But I understand why they're doing this. But I did want to make a video discussing my opinion opinions about the nerf, my opinions on what's currently happening with the meta when involving May, and also talk about the future of May because this will not be the last nerf. I promise you, this will not be the last nerf. Even though there's been four nerfs recently, this will not be the last one. But first, let me get my initial thoughts on this nerf because as you guys know, I'm a May main. She's my favorite hero. I try to be as unbiased as possible and I will continue to do so in this video. But my opinions on this nerf is that I didn't really see a, a significant change. Nothing really jumped out at me initially, nothing really made me think, oh, May's a terrible hero now. Gosh darn those Blizzard people. Why did they nerf my oh so beloved May? Oh, she's so terrible. No, it really didn't feel all too different. There were some times where I thought, man, I would have liked some extra ammo so that I can freeze this person. But on the flip side, nothing initially screamed that she was better either. Like, yeah, you get two extra shots with a secondary form of fire. And over a course of like a 10 minute game, that'll start to add up. But when I initially played with it, it's like, yeah, I can kind of spam my secondary fire a little bit more, but it doesn't feel all too different. But I understand why this change came about, because from Blizzard's perspective, they're trying to make Mei a more skillful hero, because by reducing the clip size, but by also reducing the amount of ammo that it takes to shoot an icicle, that means the people that are relying on their primary form of fire, the freeze, the CC, people won't be able to just cheese that because it's gonna run out of ammo fairly quickly. Whereas if you're a skillful May player or just a skillful player that knows how to aim with projectile heroes, you're gonna benefit from this buff because you don't rely on the primary from a fire and you have more secondary fire to have at your disposal. Meaning that you're gonna get even more kills technically. But guess what your boy is? Definitely not the second one. <laughs> I definitely use my primary from a fire. Do I rely on it? Not necessarily, but if it's there, why wouldn't I use it for a hero that is out of position that I can easily just freeze and then dink him in the head? You know what I mean? And that's why I didn't see too many changes because if I were to 1v1 a squishy hero perfectly, I could do that twice without needing to reload. Where beforehand, when I had a 200 clip with Mei, I would have probably already gotten two kills anyway. So that that's why for me, nothing really jumped out at me. If it would have gotten reduced to like 80, then maybe I would have seen a difference. But when it comes to this, not too much has changed. 
And that's the problem. A lot of people call me a biased May main, but I feel like my biasness in this scenario helps me make an argument because this is the one thing that I think I know the most when it comes to Overwatch. I don't know everything. I'm not an expert. When it comes to Overwatch pro players and streamers that play this game religiously, they probably know more about the game and even probably mo more about May. But when it comes to me making an argument when it comes to May, I feel like my two cents is just a little bit validated. So when I start to see nerfs like the ammo clip nerf or the the wall nerf or her freeze nerf and she's still continuously one of the best heroes to play and people are still continuously complaining about her it gets me thinking didn't people know that May was good back in 2017, back in 2018, when people were dogging on May players for playing May because she was seen as a terrible hero? Because she was basically the same hero back then as she was now. The only significant change that I can remember from recent memory is the fact that you are now able to freeze multiple people with your primary form of fire. Beforehand, if there was a Zarya in front of a D.Va and he froze the Zarya, well, you wouldn't be able to freeze the D.Va as well. Now we all know the May where anyone that is clumped up together, you can freeze them too. Like you can freeze multiple people. So it just gets me a little bit irritated when I hear people say that competitive is unplayable because of May, when it's it's been the same since 2016. It really hasn't changed all that much. Like I made a video back in 2018 listing all the reasons as to why May is good. It's not because she's a good DPS hero. It's because of her wall. It's the fact that she's able to stop people in their tracks. What May has that a lot of other DPS heroes don't is the ability to not only punish bad players that are in a bad position, but also wreck bad organized teams. But oh, guess what? People didn't believe me. But now in 2020, everybody thinks she's an OP hero which makes me think, is she really an OP hero? <laughs> Or are people just sheeple just screaming out the first thing that they hear from people whenever it comes to the meta? Oh, I hate May. People hear that be like, yeah, I hate May too. Yeah, she's broken. Her wall is broken. So then why are we nerfing all other aspects about May if the wall is the one thing that's broken? I just don't know what people are trying to complain about when it comes to May. And two, we're nerfing the things that people aren't necessarily even complaining about or nerfing the things that aren't necessarily even making a difference when it comes to the meta. But here's something that a lot of people that only make it two minutes into the video won't hear after they leave their comments saying, I'm glad they're nerfing me, you're so biased, I hate you, and that is me saying, I get why these changes are being made. I just want the right changes to be made. I don't want everything about May to be nerfed to the point where she's unplayable because that seems like that's the future of May. Blizzard can't get it right because they're listening to the sheeple just complain about May, so they, they focus on the ammo clip and then they focus on the wall. Next, it could be your crowd freeze next it could be her dps but that's not the thing that's making her broken so i'm all for making the hero more balanced so that the joe schmoes that are just now recently picking up may won't be able to cheese may and do good but what i'm not for which i say for every single hero is making the players that main that hero suffer it just so happened to be my favorite hero this time but i've been saying this for symmetra i've been trying to maybe say this for like mercy and diva and other heroes in the past again this is where people say you're just biased. Well, <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to use my biasness to help make an argument, but I'm admittedly saying that yes, she needs to be changed, but I want the right things to be changed. And what is that? God, I don't know. I I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. I hate making redundant videos that doesn't have like an end goal, but my thought was May is bad. Like I I've always known this since 2016, since 2017, since 2018, and even in the beginning of 2019, but just now recently in 2020, now she's OP and it gets me confused here. Like. I don't, I don't get it. Like, ugh. or maybe she's always been good and it's now just something that people want to complain about for this month. But, 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 but it's valid. Okay. I still have to go against May. I still get annoyed with it. So I'm all for a May balance, but I want again, the right things to be balanced. And also something that I realized is that I continuously said that May is a consistent hero because she's only received one major buff in the past couple of years, but that was like months ago, the ability to freeze multiple people. So that makes her a consistent hero over the past couple of years, but that makes other heroes inconsistent. They always fell prey to nerves before May. So maybe it's just her time. I, again, I want the right things to be changed. I'm open to changes, but I don't want it to be a 
point where it's like Doomfist. Doomfist players know the tragedy of this, where their favorite hero is the best, and then he got nerfed, nerfed, nerfed. Okay, now he's kind of a little bit sus right now. I can definitely see this happen with other unmeta heroes like Symmetra or Torburn, where in a couple of years, people that main that hero always saw the potential, but because all the meta heroes got nerfed, it's their time to be good, and people complain about that. I mean, Overwatch is a forever evolving game, and it's time for May to evolve. It just sucks that we're not getting it right because we've gone through four nerfs and she's still one of the best heroes to be played. Or maybe I'm just biased and I've always thought that she was one of the best heroes to be played. But go on Twitter, go on Twitch, and you constantly see people complain about May. <laughs> I've been known this fam. But anyway guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come and bye.